Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's video, I am going to be showing you a few of the recent coloring book purchases that I have made. Uh, I have not gone too crazy these past couple of months. I'm pretty proud of myself. Once Lent ended, I didn't go like on a crazy shopping spree or anything. So um, I do have a few books, um, a couple are new releases, but I'm pretty excited about all of them. So um, let's start with these ones that are a little odd for me. <laughs> so I got these two Crayola coloring books and these are very graphic, like graphic novel coloring book type styles, heavy, heavy black lines. Um, but I have been really impressed with a few of the YouTubers, um, that I've seen online take pages like this or ones more in like the kids coloring books and then turn them into like these beautiful works of art. And I know that I'm probably not on that level, but I would like to have that challenge, like attempt that challenge at some point. So like this Wonder Woman one, I think is awesome. I think that would be really fun to color. Um, I like the Supergirl ones, okay. Uh, I like the Green Lantern one. Like some of these, I'm not a huge um, DC Comics fan. Like I know the main characters and everything, Like, but some of these villains that are in here, I don't know who they, some of these people are. But like this one looks really cool too. I really like that one a lot. Um, but anyway, so I just wanna, I wanted to take that challenge and try to step it up a notch and um, see what I can make. Uh, from these awesome illustrations because the artwork is gorgeous and the shading, you know, is already done for you. So you just kind of have to, I don't know, figure, figure out how you want to do it. So there is that one from the Justice League. And then I have this Avengers Endgame one, which this one I am really excited about because, well, <laughs> it comes with a poster, but that one's, <laughs> that's not really what excited me. Although it's a pretty cool poster. Probably can use it for some color inspiration. But I like, I, I'm, I love the Avengers, and um, I just think it's going to be a really cool book to color in. Like, especially these ones where it's like all the characters. So fun. Uh, I don't like that there's a lot of the villains in here that I don't really, I don't really want to color them. But there are other scenes that I'm super excited to color, so... So yeah, so yeah, I've got this Avengers um, Endgame one. And then I also did order, unfortunately it, it got lost in shipping or something happened. Uh, I ordered a Star Wars one and um, it's disappeared. So hopefully it'll show up at some point, but we'll see. Uh, then the other one that I, the other two that I ordered that I, I my thought process was I'm gonna get to them. <laughs> someday even though I haven't colored in the other one I went ahead and got this Disney Kincaid one as well um I I do have the other one it didn't have a few of the pictures that I really wanted to color in it uh because the other one focuses just on princesses and some of these ones in here like I really like this Mickey and Minnie one I think that's super cute um and there are some other ones in here that I would really like to attempt to color, that's gonna be, oh, that one's really cute, the one, the Jungle Book one. I like that one too. Anyway, so again, inspired by Sarah Renee Clark, how she's been doing, uh, she's done a couple images in these books and it's just been really inspiring watching her work. And I, she's also who else, uh, who I was watching for like the, um, the coloring book adaptations or whatever um, that kind of, got me in the mood to, to buy those other books previously that I showed to this one. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, so I got this new Disney, uh, Thomas Kincaid one. And then I also ordered this art therapy portraits tome two, which, um, this is the only one that I have like this. And this is really cool. Like it's big, big coloring pages, single sided. I could definitely use my alcohol markers on these. There are a couple, there are only a couple of characters that I didn't know. Like, I'm not sure who that one is. Oops. I'm not sure who that one is. Um, but most of the other ones I, I was familiar with. Um, 
But yeah, some really, some really neat pictures. I wasn't sure who that one is too. I feel like I've seen him, but I don't know what it's for. I love this one. I love it. Uh, but yeah, so lots of fun pages. Um, excited to do some work in these. I love this one too. I really want to color that one. So Disney Portraits Tom 2. Uh, then I have a couple from Creative Haven. I got this Creative Kittens coloring book. I don't have um, very many of these ones where it's very like super doodly on the animals. Um, I have the owl one. Uh, I think I bought the foxes one, but I think I've, I've, um, passed that on to somebody else. Uh, but this one's really cute. I think that it, it's going to be fun to color. So, and I liked the kittens one better than the cats one. So, and the dog one. So I went with this one. We'll see how it goes. If I like it, maybe I'll get some more. If I don't, then this is, this is the one that I got. Uh, the next two are both from Teresa Goodrich. This one is the Home Sweet Home coloring book. Unfortunately, the edge was all damaged, but the pages inside are fine, so I'm not going to worry about it. Just going to silently cry in my corner about the binding being <laughs> messed up. But this one's really cute. This one has a lot of um, interiors, um, porch scenes, you know, all kinds of different things. I love this page. Um, yeah, lots of really cute stuff in here to color. I mean, of course, it's it's Teresa Goodrich. That's what you expect from her, correct? So there's that Home Sweet Home one. And the other one I got was the new one that she had released. This is Village Charm. This is adorable. I love this book. Uh, everything about it I just think is so cute. Like, I love this page. Just all of it. Like, all these cute little shops like village shops just reminds me of nice little like small towns that you can go vacation in over the summer you know and I like that there's a lot of like waterside scenes I really like this page too um but yeah super cute book if there are any books in here that you would like a full flip through of, just let me know in the comments. I know several of these have lots of flip throughs on YouTube, so I'm not going to film any right now. But like if you said, like I said, if you um, really want to see one, then just let me know. Uh, this one is the New Mermaids special from Coloring Heaven. This one is so cute. Lots of different artists. Uh, some of my favorites. Tons and tons of cute illustrations. I really like this one a lot. Um, cute Mariel Budek. This is a new artist to me that I didn't know about before. So I like to learn. I love this, these books because you always find a new artist. And this one too, Andy Davies, which I really like as well. And is it Jamaica Murphy maybe? These ones are really cute. It, she's put in. I really like those. This otter one is adorable. Anyway, so yep, super cute, super cute book. Really like it. So that is the Mermaids special. Then I, uh, to round out, I'm almost, almost full on all of my Rita Berman books. I got the summer book. I didn't have this one yet. Um, and Yes, I know that I have the compilation book, but there are several pictures in here that are not in that book. And I am excited to color in this. Super, look at that cute little town. I love it. So yeah, so this is the Rita Berman's summer book. Then um, I got the new dragons and other magically mythical creatures by Camilla de Erico. This one is all over YouTube right now. Lots of flip throughs everywhere you look and I, it's so stinking cute. It's really, really cute. Several of the images are just gorgeous. I really like this one in the back. Uh, and then I love this one. This is the one from the front cover which again is just so cute. Yeah, I, it, I adore it. It's really cool. Both of those are awesome. 
Well, so those are awesome. Just really excited to color in this book. I think it's going to be really fun. Both of those. Gosh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, but I, as much as I love that one, this one I love so much more. <laughs> this is the new Mythographic. This is the um, Joseph Kattenbang Voyage. There are no hidden images. Hooray! <laughs> I'm so happy. Like if they could re-release the the previous images without all the hidden stuff in it, I that I would rebuy all of the books. But uh, this, I I love this book. A uh, couple of my favorite pages. I I don't know how I'm gonna pick. I really like that one. I really like this one. Uh, there are so many in here that I really like. This one, which is really cool. Um, I, I really like this one. All these Venus fly traps underneath. I thought those were cool. This one is um, a little heavier on insects than I was expecting, I guess. I don't know. Uh, insects are not my favorite thing to color, but I don't mind doing it. Look at that. I mean, come on. It's beautiful. And you don't have to worry about covering the crap up. So I'm so pleased with this book. It's just gorgeous. Now, like this bug, I don't, I don't mind it so much because it's so beautifully drawn, but yeah, I don't know. Insects are not my fave. But I just love this book. I really, really do. So yeah, definitely check out. I know several YouTubers have... Ugh, this one's beautiful too. Several YouTubers have flip-throughs of this on their channel. Um, but ho I'm hoping to get a page done in this book very, very soon. Uh, but that is it for me. So we've got, you know, lots of, lots of new fun stuff. And um, I'm excited. <laughs> As always. I'm always excited about my new stuff. <laughs> okay, so that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you have any books that you would like to see flip-throughs of, let me know. If you have any books that you would like links to, again, let me know in the comments and I will get those to you. Uh, thanks so much for watching today. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.